Hey guys, we are back for another video. Now, I've been keeping you guys up to date with this Portia Williams and this Simon Gubadia tit for tat situation. As you guys already know, they are in a divorce situation, but things have gotten heated up yet again. So, Portia has filed for an emergency order, and the order is demanding that Portia has permission to film in Simon's mansion. Where we're going to get into the situation because sources are saying that Portia is a little bit jealous because guess who gets to film in the mansion? Her good friend, Shamia. Well, let's get into this story, y'all. First, let's let our intro play out and then we're going to come back and talk about it. I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Also, guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and also make sure you enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on a video or whenever I go live. Well, y'all, let's just say this situation with Portia Williams and Simon Gubadia is turning into a regular soap opera. Now, I don't know what y'all age is, but honey, if you remember back in the days where they used to watch what they call their stories, um, and it was like the days of our lives in the general hospitals, honey, this is a modern day all my children because honey simon and portia this is one messy divorce and it hasn't even begun well let's jump in here y'all simon posted on his social media that his children were homeless he said what about simon's homeless kids so as simon has stated before he does share custody with his child's or his children's mom. And what he's saying is, um, and he just literally posted this 10 hours ago. He said, I would like to publicly thank the mothers of my three minor children who have stepped up to provide cover for our minor children. We are into the third month of litigation without proper visitation. These women have played their part as co-parents and are now asked to do more with the added burden of caring for my children when they are supposed to be in my care. My children are growing and maturing every day and unfortunately do not have the benefit of my presence. Simon also states, seemingly everyone wants to focus on everything but what's important in a family, especially when it comes to children and co-parenting. I have joint physical custody of my kids for five years. Those boys are in my home two weeks out of the month. I also have visitation rights to my daughter who was 11 years old and lives in California. And last minute had to be diverted to Dubai for spring break. She was ultimately out of a home for three weeks during spring break. All three kids currently displaced. I would like each and every one of you, especially those with kids, pray for me and my family. They deserve consideration as well. Again, Simon wants Portia out. He says, listen, I have my own children that I am responsible for while Portia and her daughter is in my mansion with probably eight bedrooms, yet my children have not one bedroom or access to any of the things that I work for. And listen, guys, it gets crazier because let's get into what Portia wants. She don't give a damn about Simon or his kids, honey. Let's get into it. Now, guys, while Simon is fighting for rights to his home and to be able to live in his home as this divorce um, develops, Portia has filed her own emergency, emergency order demanding permission to film Real Housewives of Atlanta in Simon's Mansion. Now, if you guys recall, I told you that Portia 
wanted to be in that home to be able to film because it's a very nice home and she wants to be able to show herself as someone with a lot of money and what better way to do it than be able to be in that beautiful home show all 30 of them cars in the garage which is luxury it may not be 30 but honey it's a lot of them she don't give a care in the world about this man or his children she wants to be able to fulfill her contractual obligation because shamia is looking like the one who should have got Portia's contract, being that she has a real marriage, a real husband, a real car that her husband didn't repossess. And, you know, Portia says Simon was broke. Well, I don't know if he's broke. I don't even believe it, but it looks like Shamia is checking off all boxes right about now. And Portia is jealous. Word on the street is Portia is heated. So let's get into this filing that Portia filed. Okay, so Portia says that she is not leaving. Well, well, I shouldn't say Portia said this, but this is what I'm saying. Portia is not leaving that mansion, honey, without a fight. And according to Radar Online, Portia has filed an emergency order demanding permission to film in the home, despite Simon's legal team demanding the court restrict her usage. If you guys recall, I said this before in a previous video, Simon served the network them dang on court papers do not film in my property so portia is trying to get an emergency an injunction so that she can actually film okay so get into this y'all so portia is saying that filming her day-to-day -day life inside of this mansion is vital to her ability to sustain her income and employment now, Simon Lee did seemingly admit that he did sell two of his multi-million dollar homes to put a down payment on this Georgia mansion. And it is allegedly stated that Portia gifted her mother her home. So, hey, I don't know if that part is true, but that is what is being stated, honey. Now, get into this, y'all. Word on the street is Portia is piping. And I'm going to say piping, piping hot and extremely irritated because, honey, Miss Shamia, who, I mean, like, who really don't even like Shamia? Like, everybody likes Shamia. Like, how would you not like her bubbly personality? She is a sweetheart. Well, this is from what I know um, and what I saw. Everybody loves Shamia. Portia the exact opposite. Portia has built a lot of fans who just don't like her. So people are all in the comments saying Shamia should have been the number one housewife. Shamia this, Shamia that. So Portia is pissed off. She's jealous. And now she has served Simon and the court with this emergency injunction because she mad y'all she don't got no house to film in she don't got no cars to show and baby she mad she's extremely pissed off and y'all let's look at this from a we can look at it from a legal perspective we can look at it from an outside perspective but at the end of the day, Simon is playing chess and I'm going to keep saying it and Portia is playing checkers. So Simon has ultimately already alleged what Portia is trying to do. He's also requested the network provide him documents into her storyline. And now Portia is serving documents saying that she needs to film in the house. It's not making Portia look good at all. This is really making her look very thirsty because you can still be on this show and not film in your house. The fact that she needs this injunction is out of her own pure greed because she wants to look like a million dollar woman. Because guess what? She's already signed the contract. She's already on the show. 
but she's mad as hell, y'all. Portia is mad because everything she set out to do is falling to pieces. She's in the property, but Simon is like, because this is my home, it's in my name, I have a right to say if I want cameras to come in my home. And he says no. And because he says no, the cameras are not allowed to film in his home. Now, Portia is going to say, because this is my job, I have to have the cameras to be able to follow me in the property that I live in. But y'all, let's be serious about this entire situation. When it's a couple, even if you had children together, one couple can actually say they do not want the children to appear on the, you know, any type of television program, which is similar to what you guys are seeing in the Mel and the Martell Holt situation. Martell has stated he does not want the children to film and therefore they can't film. It's not the same situation, but similar. Portia will not be able to film in this house because this is, even if it was in both of their names, both parties have to agree. You have to understand when those cameras come into a home, they're showing everything and you have, well, I'm sorry, you are in your, you're within your rights to say, hey, I don't want my life shown like that. I don't want my life shown like that. So I don't believe any judge is going to rule on that. But y'all, let's just be serious with what this situation is. Portia wants Shamia's life so bad and partially is the reason why she married Simon. I mean, it's kind of closer to what you know, Shamia's husband is. And, you know, I should also let you guys know Shamia and her husband bought a home just around the time that Portia wanted Simon to buy the mansion that he bought the one that she won't leave. If you guys follow Portia, you know she's always taking pictures by the pool in the like outside area where you can see the cars. So she's really flashy and she wants to make it seem like she has this, you know, all of this money and that she's rich. She doesn't want to film back in her old house because it will look like the same Porsche, right? So she really wants to be able to showcase riches. And also now that Shamia is on the cast, Shamia has, they said, a bad mansion, honey. So she wants to try to compete with her own friends. So at the end of the day, guys, it is definitely everything we have been seeing. Portia wanted to enforce the prenup because the prenup simply meant that Simon had to leave. But the part that was not taken into consideration is that Portia still has a home. Now she's making it seem like she gifted it to her mom because think about it this way. If you if you say you gave somebody something, you typically don't really have paperwork. So if she would have said, I sold it to my mom, then she would have to bring the hood in. You know, it's like a closing statement and it shows what monies were paid for what property. But she's not saying that. She says, I gifted it to my mom. I believe Simon's attorneys is going to very well hone in on that because you really can't give someone something you don't really own. We all know Portia has a mortgage on that home. So when she says she gifted it to her mom, is she saying she let her mother take over the mortgage payments or is she saying she let her mom move in there while she continues to make the payment? Make it make sense. I believe that at the end that Simon will eventually, if nothing else, be allowed to live in a home because if people want to present the argument that it's very well as much Portia's home as it is his, although he bought it before marriage, then it would mean the same for him. Then it would make no sense why he's now saying that his kids are homeless when their dad bought a seven million, not 700, seven million dollar property. As always, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And I want to know what you guys think. Let's have a whole conversation in the comments. I want to know your thoughts. And if you are subscribed to the channel, 
make sure you enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on the video or whenever I go live.